Hello everyone, today on my hobby table we have new CM4 light model, it is CB2 by Big Tree Tech. I have been using original CB1 model on my Warren Trident for about a year now, with zero problems. When Big Tree Tech contacted me for the review, I thought, do I really need CB2? My CB1 works perfectly fine. It turned out there are actually features that were greatly improved and we will talk about those improvements later. But for now, let's open the box and let's take a look what we have inside. Little duck, CB model itself, an antenna and Bitly Tech sticker. Let me pull out the device and talk about dry specs. We have Rockchip RK3566 SoC with quad-core Cortex-A55 CPU and Mali-G52 MP2 GPU. 2 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and on the back side we have 32 gigabytes of EMC onboard storage so we don't really need any SD card to run the OS. The CB2 model also compatible with DSi and CSI ports for camera and display devices to work via serial interface. Very important to note that the device also has 1 gigabit of Ethernet connection, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.2. At the time of the video the price of the Big 3 Tech CB2 model stands around $40, while Raspberry Pi CM4 model with exactly the same specification will cost you around $55, which is an extra $15. There is plenty other cheap alternatives available, but only one stands out, Orange Pi CM4, which seems to have a decent selection of operating systems available and decent user base. Unfortunately, I personally do not have much of the experience or knowledge around Orange Pies, so it will be very nice if you could share your experience of using any other compute models with Big 3 Tech Manta boards into the comment section under the video. On the Big 3 Tech CB2 GitHub repository, you will find two OS images. One is fully assembled, ready to go Armbian image with pre-installed main cell. And other is minimized Armbian image in case you will use this board for something other than 3D printing. I don't know how well those images are optimized or how long Big 3 Tech will decide to support them, but so far it hasn't been an issue. However, if we compare it to Raspberry Pi, the community and overall support plays a huge role in the use of CM4 model. The main downside of using the Raspberry Pi CM4 model for Manta series boards was the lack of Big 3 Tech serial TFT support, which a few months ago was actually solved. I found GitHub repository by Steady, who made a decent manual how to fix this issue for Raspberry Pi. The link will be under the description. Right now on my table you can see Raspberry Pi CM4, new Big 3 Tech CB2 and Big 3 Tech CB1. Overall, those looks exactly the same. There's not much to say. They all inspired by Raspberry Pi CM4 model. Let's talk about my actual use experience. Following the official manual, which you can find on the Big 3 Tech CB2 GitHub repository, I tried to write an image with Etcher on my macOS, but at the end the system wasn't able to mount the FAT32 partition, which contains boot configuration files, and we really need an access to those files in order to set up Wi-Fi. So I switched over to a Windows 11 PC where everything worked on the first try, and after adjusting the configuration files, I started the printer, which loaded faster than I expected. It was very nice to see faster boot time. After retrieving IP address from my router, I connected to CB2 model via SSH and started transferring the operating system to built-in EMC storage. This process took a couple of minutes and was very straightforward. Next, via web interface, I uploaded the printer configuration files and after a reboot, my TFT32 SPI screen threw a warning message that the AMCU was configured for 51 MHz but running at 60 MHz. I was able to fix this issue by rebuilding the Linux process simply following official Clipper documentation. The frequency error went away and I proceed with a test print, after which I noticed a very weird issue where one of the CPU cores was under 100% load and my TFT screen had very slow response time. This issue I was able to solve by removing Obica packages 
Not sure if it was fully related, but it solved the problem. Also, while printing the first print, I noticed that finally my Logitech C930e camera was able to pull 30 frames of video feedback via web interface, which I was extremely happy to see as my CB1 model struggled to output a consistent 10 frames. I have tested before and found out that this issue in CB1 model related to slow Wi-Fi. This is where upgraded wireless model on CB2 comes into play. Big3 Tech claims that you don't really need any heat sinks to run CB2 model, so I run it without any cooling for a few days, and the average SOC temperature was around 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. Also, I haven't noticed any significant throttle of the CPU at those temperatures, but at the end I still decided to add additional heat sinks as I would like to reduce fan use whenever printer is in idle state. With my CB1 model it was very annoying that the SOC temperature was constantly rising, triggering cooling fans even when the printer wasn't doing anything at all. To summarize, we definitely get faster load time compared to CB1 model and very nice to have a faster Wi-Fi connection for smoother camera footage. The CB2 is $15 cheaper than Raspberry Pi CM4 model and so far it's well documented. It will be hard to justify an upgrade as CB1 already handling 3D printing pretty well but if you are building a new project, I think it's definitely worth the extra 10 to 15 dollars. For now, leave your like, subscribe and I see you at the next one. Bye bye.